The physical interactions between cells are very important because it's involved in many of the basic processes in biology. And this involves things like development of the cells, development of organisms, and also involves in a lot of the uh, uh, pathological processes in diseases like the metastasis of cancer and so on. Traditionally, we've always been looking at chemical interactions between cells, where one cell releases some chemical cues and another cell picks up, or the cell picks up some environmental chemical cues and responds to it. But the actual physical interactions where one cell may pull or push to another now is uh, shown to play an important role in a lot of this. It is very important to study cells at the single molecule level because it gives us a lot more resolution in understanding how individual proteins in the cells control the behavior of cells. So when we look at cells that are interacting physically, they're really interacting through these molecules. We are developing techniques that nobody else is developing right now that allows us to look at processes at a very high efficient, high throughput manners. Isaac's building molecular tools made out of DNA and he's doing so in such a way that he's trying to understand the structure um, of those molecules, but also as a consequence, he's designing function. Our work is really interdisciplinary. It's a lot of different fields have to work together in order to achieve the goal and the scientific question that we are trying to ask. As a collaborator, I think Isaac's kind of a dream. Both he and his students represent what I would hope to see in my own lab and what I hope to see in the School of Engineering. The hope of the future really is that we can develop you know, a new generation of DNA-based materials for understanding fundamental processes in, in molecules and also in cells. Ultimately, what I want to do is to train the next generation of leaders in science, in research, so that we can all together improve you know, life for everybody else.